Om Shanti and now we are doing the recording of yesterday that is Saturdays and today's Godly Blessing, 23rd and 24th of July's Godly Blessing. And here in yesterday's Godly Blessing, Supreme Father wants us to become an ocean of forgiveness. And that is going to help us and also teach others also a lesson. And that lesson is going to be a very sweet lesson for them and for us too. Let's explore this, what is exactly God mean to say by forgiving others. So God says, may you be a master ocean of forgiveness and teach others with your form of forgiveness. So forgiveness is also a form of teaching others. If a soul tries to make you shake or has an attitude of harming you in any way or the other, make you shake means what? Make you feel insulted, feel down, feel less as a person and show you your negativities, show you your weaknesses or even try harming you by telling other people something negative about you, impure about you. If a soul tries to make you shake or has an attitude of harming you, transform or forgive that one with your attitude of benevolence. So forgive that person by being benevolent. That means you need a lot of power of benevolence within you. That you are able to do something good for them even if they are insulting you or saying something negative about you. If you are not able to transform that one, then become a master ocean of forgiveness and forgive him. That means if you are even showing benevolence and that person is still not agreeing to what you have to say, then become a master ocean of forgiveness and forgive him. Your forgiving that soul will become a lesson for him. Nowadays, by teaching others, some understand, whereas others don't. So if you try to teach them a lesson or you try to tell them that this is not the method, reform yourself, change yourself, and they don't do that, then the only method is to forgive them. And God says, However, to forgive someone means to give him blessings of good wishes and cooperation. And that's the only method of changing. You can call it as a reverse psychology also, where if you get after somebody and tell them to change, if they don't change, you just leave them go 10 steps backwards and they start wondering. Because if you give them space, only then they can think about what you've said. But if you keep on breathing down their neck, they don't. So forgiveness is also a method of giving them space. Tell them what is right and what is wrong. And after some time giving them space and let them experience life and sometime or the other, they'll understand it faster. So this is what God wants us to do. Applying this knowledge is very important. Experiencing this is very important. But with forgiveness, you need a lot of patience with that person. You can't be like, okay, I forgive him. And the next day that person repeats the same mistake and you're like, now I cannot forgive him. He's done the same thing again. So it needs a lot of patience, needs a lot of benevolence, needs a lot of good wishes and blessings for that person. And you can only give blessings and good wishes if you're giving them from a point of patience and humility. Otherwise, they are not blessings. They are fake. So, you can learn this beautiful knowledge of how to reach that level where you can give blessings and good wishes to others with the power of meditation, which you can learn it at Brahma Kumaris for free. With this, Om Shanti.